Hi folks, Anders here, and oh, it's painting day inside dog. So, <coughs> I am going to be painting all of these cupboards, all of these. They've been cleaned down with this magical stuff called Eldo Grease, and I mean, you can just see the colour of the cloths, but it, oh, oh, it does, yeah. <coughs> um, so, yeah, so the plan for today is I've just scrubbed all of these down. Um, I'm going with like a kind of a chocolatey colour on the, the door, the main panels, and then the frames and these will be kind of a sage greeny colour, I think, because it will go with a the theme of the thing. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> um, I will keep you updated with some videos throughout today, and I'll splice them all together into one video. Um, I have discovered another leak, <coughs> um, a little tiny one. So here is where the um, one of the original battens came across for the skylight. This was added on afterwards, as you can see. There's extra thing there. So I think that it's coming from just above here. So what I'm going to do, I'll just put a bowl down for now. It's not much. We don't have to have some heavy rain, but as you can see, inside there is all wet. So yes, yeah, so it's definitely coming from there. It is not coming from the skylight which is good because it means that I sealed it well and it worked which is excellent um, so yeah so I'm happy with that but it's definitely it's very dry around the edges there <clears throat> so yeah so yeah it's, it, it's it's painting day which is very exciting and hopefully I've got a chappy coming over this afternoon or tomorrow to um, start doing the uh, sills above the windows so, so I'll show you what I've done with that quickly <coughs> So as you can see, that is all completely rusted out. So I've, I've prepped it out, started clearing it with a wire wall brush. So what he's going to do is, rather than weld, because we don't really want to weld because it's right next to a fiberglass there. So he's going to put a piece along here, like an L shape coming out of a lip, uh, rivet it to the good metal, and we're going to treat all the metal first, and then fill all along here. Um, we can clean all of this out, fill all along there with like Sikaflex or <coughs> with some really good flexi adhesive sealant. <coughs> and we're going to do both sides of that as well. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, and obviously there's bits of rust everywhere that I've got to sort out, but that's all superficial stuff at the moment. So yeah, it's painting day, it's painting day. I'm very, very excited. So I will um, catch you in a bit when I've started to paint. Yay! Well, first coat's on. It's looking good. And yeah, I'll show you. Weird lighting in here because obviously the sun's quite high today. Uh, so, yeah, and I have gone with Brave Ground Silk by Dulux. Uh, it was reduced from £18 to £4.50, so absolute bargain. Uh, yeah, and I thought <coughs> quite apt as well. I was I was looking for a lighter shade, but paint's gone expensive, like crazy expensive. So when I saw that in the clearance section, I was like, yeah. And then I saw the name and I was like, Brave Ground. Ooh. So I thought it rather apt, all things considered, for a um, good old Dougie Doug. So yeah, there we are. Um, ignore all the messy bits around the edge. I will be taking the doors off when they're done and painting the edges. I still haven't decided what colour yet, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, so time to get on with the second coat. Still got to do these cupboards here. Uh, side panel there, panel there, that bit there. Um, that bit needs replacing because it was part of where the water leak was, so I've got to figure out what I'm doing with that panel there. Um, but yeah, looking good. Um, I'll catch up with you in a bit when I've got the second coat on. Well, the painting's done. So, I'll show you there. I know the light is not great in here, but you know it'll do. And it's looking red, it's reflecting off something, so hey. Um, yep, there's all of the cupboards. They've now all had two coats on. I'm just going to do the edges. Tidy up the bits here, here, see, not too bad. Yep, so all of that is done up there as well. That's painted there, 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 there. 
cleaned up all of the handles, which I will probably paint at some point because that tacky faux brass looks a bit enough. And this stuff, this stuff is amazing. Like this has just been absolutely brilliant for cleaning and stuff like that. It's just wow, yeah, so good. And I've also started to clean in the bathroom. So that's looking really good in there. Next bit is just get the roof back on in there, um, which shouldn't take too long to do. And then the bathroom is good. Um, I have um, addressed one thing that I was putting off, which was underneath the sink and thingy. As you can see, it's very, very damp and there was carpet all under here as well. And it was still, sopping wet it's not from um it's not a new leak it's the original leak but obviously being covered it's all damp and stuff you can see there it's still quite moldy so that does need to be cleaned out as well and this cupboard here uh that was yeah that was all kinds of gross inside there as well so that's been done um which is much better uh, and i've just knocked the paint on that no um yeah so Painting is done, painting is done. Here and up there. Uh, ignore all this, so this trim here, where it's currently very off-white and messy, is gonna be like a lovely sage green um, to match. So that's awesome. And the most exciting bit, the very, very exciting bit, had a lovely chat this afternoon and a big shout out to Paul. Um, all of that horrible mess that was above the door frames. So we haven't welded. What we've done is he's pop riveted and sealed behind. And then the gap that was there has all been done in with, um, it's like an adhesive sealant. I'm still gonna do there. So I'm gonna get some filler for there and filler for there and rush treat it all, a bit of filler for there as well, but that's not too bad. Just fill along and just smooth that edge off there as well. Little hole there. So that is gonna be tomorrow, but it's not terrible. And then the other side of the driver's door, which was the other bit, is lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm just going to let it dry for a few hours before I can just peel off that uh, there because it's still a bit tacky. Yeah, and again, there's a bit there that needs to be filled. Um, I'm going to use P38, I've recommended it, P38 and P40 fillers. Uh, so one is a fibre filler, so it's a bit more of a structural bind, and then P40 to finish. Um, yeah, there is obviously still a lot of rust <coughs> around here, there and everywhere. Come on here, there, 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 there. But that is all stuff that I can do at a later date. None of that is structural. Uh, there is still that hole there, which also is going to be sanded back, rust treated, filled, along with all of that as well. I've got to get some rust treatment stuff first and just chuck it all on it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Then obviously there's some little holes here where the water was getting in under the carpet. The carpet is well and truly dry now because obviously there's no more leaks. Um, so that is brilliant. So I'm just going to put clean all them out and fill all them in as well but yeah big update this week super happy with that it just looks amazing um, I, he just he just i've literally just left the guy to it he knows what he's doing uh he messes with cars all the time um so yeah so a big shout out and a thank you to maddie who um recommended me paul because she's one of her friends um, and uh, again, a big shout out to Paul for um, coming along and doing all of that. So it's amazing. I'm still going to replace all of that there. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So that is the end of this video. It's been a massive dug update <laughs> in the last couple of days. I've really, really been sort of getting uh, done with the progress. Like I say, that skylight is fine. No problems there. That's all done. Just got to put the trim back on there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, video. If you um, are interested in seeing more of my dog updates, please subscribe and um, 
hit that bell I, I don't know how to do the YouTube stuff I'm terrible at this yeah do all of that stuff um, thank you for all the lovely comments that I've had I know a few people have uh, started to follow me recently and uh, subscribe which is brilliant um, and I'm saying uh, a lot yeah so um, a big shout out to everybody who's commented and stuff as well I know it's been a quite a daunting project but I think we are on the home stretch uh, yeah I'm not earning again there is three weeks to go today so it is Good Friday today, three weeks to go today until my first festival, which is the Festival of Pagans and Witches in Coventry, which I will be trading at with Anders Crafts. The crowdfund, uh, GoFundMe, is still open. Uh, currently it stands at £415. Um, that's gone, well and truly gone on everything that's been done, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so if you would like to donate a little bit more, I really would appreciate it. Again, I am doing, I'm not asking for money for nothing. I am giving away uh, my products and things like that uh, that I make through Anders Crafts. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.